All right, where the hell is everybody in this damn store? Well, hi there. Huh. Welcome to the PGA Tour Superstore, where all your golfing needs are met. My name is Glenn. How can I help you today? Hi. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm Rex Anderson. The golfer. R Rex Anderson Tour Chi. That's me. Up there. You see? That's me. Whatever. I don't have time for this. Listen, I'm playing in a big tournament. Okay? Players Championship. And on the last round, I messed up my grip. Can you take a look at it for me, please? Oh, jeez. That is a dilly of a pickle. Can I see what you're working with here? Look at this thing. It's got like ninja stars on it. Oh, this here is a fabulous club. But it seems you might need a little bit of grip adjustment. See, that's what I'm talking about. I need a new grip before the Players' Championship. It's the final round, and if I win, I can qualify for the Masters Tournament, okay? Now, I scoured my entire house. The only thing I could find that had somewhat of the same grip as that golf club is this. Can you, like, fuse or, like, weld this onto the golf club? Oh, sir, I don't know if we can do that. You see, that's a grill handle. You see? The spatula gives it away. Rex, we gotta go. Would we'll you just wait a minute and I'll be there in a second. Listen, man, you better fix this club and fix it for me fast. I am the face of the PGA Tour Superstore and the face of the PGA Tour, all right? I'm gonna win the Players' Championship with or without this club and I'm gonna win the Masters and then I'm gonna come back here and kick your ass. Okay, sir, but I don't... Uh, sir? Oh, boy, the general manager is gonna be miffed at me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Midnight Gamer Golf Network right here on YouTube. Alongside our color commentator live via audio satellite, Cam Phantom, and of course our Emmy-winning color commentator, Steve the Dinosaur, it's Chet Brenneman reporting. We are live here at the beautiful, majestic TPC Sawgrass for the Players' Championship. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, final round action at the Players' Championship. This is where the men are separated from the boys, where the champions are separated from the losers. You win, and you are in for the grandest golf event in all of professional sports, the Masters. And of course, as always, we'll be following our amateur golfer turned superstar, Rex Anderson, as he tries to do the impossible, go from even to all the way to first place right here at TPC Sawgrass. It is going to be majestic as always. And Steve, I have to ask you, what are your thoughts looking forward to in this final round? Uh, I, I just gotta say this. He's gotta work hard and fast. Last time he let Justin Thomas in with a couple of weird shots and all of a sudden he was crawling back. Now we've got a five way tie for first place into this final round. It's gonna be a doozy. There's gonna be a lot of golf going on. And I gotta tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen, you won't wanna miss it. Interesting insight from you, Steve. I don't think I've heard you this serious about golf before. Listen, man, if this means we're going to the Masters and I get to f drink free mint juleps all day long, I'm rooting for Rex. Let's get it going, baby. Folks, we'll be right back with a brief word from our sponsors at YouTube. But when we return, final round action at TPC Sawgrass. Hello, I'm Pastor Daniel Schmidt, and welcome to the house of YouTube. You do. Are you feeling depressed? Depressed. Are you feeling alone? Alone. Do you feel sad? Sad. Do you not have any friends? Friends. Then join the house of YouTube. YouTube. By clicking subscribe, you will enter into the house of YouTube. Subscribe. You will no longer be sad. Depressed, hate your life, your job, or your significant other. You will be happy. Happy. So hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> Folks, we're just about to get ready for final round action here at TPC Sawgrass for the Players' Championship. But we do want to remind our folks here and viewing at home, 
If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like button as well and subscribe and tell a friend that you're watching Midnight Gamer Golf Network right here on YouTube. Steve, let's get down to the floor right now to the first hole. Final round action, TPC Sawgrass. It's the Players' Championship. The Masters is on the line. Can Rex Anderson win it all? Or will be he stuck at home like the rest of you, watching four days of golf while your wife tells you to go mow the lawn? Let's get down to the field. Beautiful skies here today. Here at TPC Sawgrass, final round action. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Rex Anderson tied in a five-way tie for first place here at TPC Sawgrass. And it is a beautiful, beautiful day of golf. Let's bring in Cam Phantom. Cam, looks like we've got a windy one for us today, don't we? Right you were there, Chet. Once again, thank you so much for having me on the broadcast for the Players' Championship. Uh, winds are expected to be between 12 and 15 miles per hour today, and it is going to be inhibiting a lot of our golfers. Uh, just want to also add that uh, I should be able to make the Masters Tournament uh, should Rex Anderson qualify. Cam, I, I hate to... I hate to cut you off here it looks as though rex anderson is not using his driver i i'm very confused this is a long par four about at 434 yards uh yeah chad that i i can i can explain that steve breaking news yeah so we were at the uh pj tour superstore naturally and uh you know rex anderson was having a little bit of issues on the last run with his uh, grip on his uh, driver. So he went there to get, you know, some free grips because, you know, he's sponsored, right? Well, the guy there was kind of a dweeb and he wouldn't give Rex his proper handle on his new grip. So we kind of just left his driver there. You left his driver there? Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of had to get back, you know, because he was playing today. Steve, under PGA Tour rules, if you do not have a specific club in your bag, you can't use it for the entire round. So... Okay, well, Rex Anderson will be playing in this final round for the Masters Tournament qualification here at the Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass without his driver. First tee shot, I guess. Uh, go ahead, Rex. I, I don't know what the hell he's waiting for. I don't know why I can't find a driver. We, we, we left it at the store. I, I, I was there. I drove him. It's going to be a long day for Rex Anderson. Holy hell, that was a terrible first shot that is going right into the rough. Rex Anderson is probably not going to the Masters, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is dark. This is dark. Chet, are you drinking? Yeah, I mean, what else are we gonna do for the next five hours while we sit here and watch this guy completely butcher this course? Rex Anderson gets back on to the fairway, would have to save for par if he is able to somehow salvage this hole. About 69 yards away from the pin now. Nice. Nice. Terrible shots from Rex Anderson. To start this final round here, it's as if he is playing very handicapped. He's gonna have to unfortunately settle for bogey here. And he does. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Rex Anderson is playing the final round of the Players' Championship without his driver. Back here at number two, winds now bustling a very high, 17 miles an hour out of the northeast without his driver. This is going to very greatly handicap his par fives. Somewhat of his best type of holes are the par fives. He has shot many a eagle on these par fives to start this year on tour as a professional golfer. And it just looks like Rex Anderson is gonna have one hell of a time playing this final round here without his signature club. That is going right into the rough, ladies and gentlemen.
Second shot here at two. Par five. Nine back for the tournament. And Rex Anderson hits a decent shot. Get himself out of that rough. Needs to stay out of it to still set up a decent, decent third shot to get in range for birdie. Now that wind, 17 miles an hour, it's going to be also a very big handicap for Rex Anderson in this final round, wouldn't you say so, Cam? Rich were there, Chet. You know, I actually left my driver back at the British Open in 1997. And during this time, the winds were actually bustling upwards to 25 to 27 miles an hour. I actually finished the round in fourth place ahead of Jack Nicholas. But to suffice to say, it was probably one of the hardest golf rounds I've ever played in. Very interesting insight as that wind is going to continue to inhibit Rex Anderson as that ball flies further and further off the green. You can see the disappointment on his face. You can tell that he immediately wants to drop every single one of his sponsors, including the PJ Tour Superstore. Again, PJ Tour Superstore. If it's not on tour, you can find it at the PJ Tour Superstore. Yeah, you can also find weirdos who don't know how to grip them golf club but you know still shop there it's, it's a good store get the f out of here I don't get this guy I don't get this guy he leaves his driver at the PJ Tour Superstore and he hits that shot we go to the Bombay Sapphire replay unbelievable shot from Rex Anderson a chip Again, these long drive tee shots are what going to separate Rex Anderson from the rest of the field in terms of getting as close to the pin on the first shot as possible. And unfortunately for Rex, that is going to hurt him more often than not today. As this drive only hits a mere 240 plus yards. Normally, Rex Anderson is hitting close to 400 yards. That 200-yard difference, that is going to hurt him more often than not. He's going to continue to have to use those three woods, those hybrids, get enough juice, get enough roll, and hope for the best. This is going to be a dive right onto the green. Can it slow down? Decent skip. Look at Rex Anderson. Absolutely immaculate here. At TPC Sawgrass. Wave on, champ. Wave on. Chad, how many of those have you had? What hole are we on? Five? Take it back now to five. Birdie shot for Rex Anderson. 18 feet away from the pin. Green seem to be moving from right to left. They need some decent placement of this putt in order to make sure that he hits it for birdie. That wind is bustling now. I can hear it in my headphones. Got a chance. Hits it in there, Rex Anderson. 12 back, two birdies in a row. No driver. Tied with Billy Horshaw. Back here at eight, par three. 220 beautiful yards. Once again, the pin right up against the front lip of that green. That wind is going to be a factor here. 17 miles an hour. Cheddar, Cam or Steve, what do you do here in this situation? Well, I usually try to get behind a tree, and then I put my jacket over my head, and then I start to light. Uh, no, I meant about the golf, Steve, not about your extracurriculars behind the broadcast booth. In these type of situations, Chet, 
I try not to overcompensate with my club. The reason being is because what I want to try to do is manage where the ball is going to fly and how fast it's going to roll. Can I get a decent roll up onto the green just before it gets past the flag? Decent strategy, but it looks like it's going to hit right into the same. Oh. Like, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. I, I just don't... I don't understand. How does he keep doing this? Oh, we are so going to the Masters. Your leader, 13 back after eight. Folks, we are at the halfway point of our Players' Championship final round action here on Midnight Gamer Golf Network, only on YouTube. If you have not done so already, please be sure to give us a like as well as subscribe. And why don't you share this video with a friend of yours? Maybe it's a girl you like or somebody who plays golf like your dad or your uncle. And they could give it a nice laugh at how ridiculous all this is. And we're taking this so seriously because it is, after all, the sport of golf. Chet, I'm taking this extremely serious, okay? Uh, we get a trip to the Masters if he wins this event, okay? I'm all serious. All right, no more drunk Steve. Serious. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The crown jewel of TPC Sawgrass. And some call it the crown jewel of professional golf. It is 17 at the Players' Championship. Cam, history on this prestigious, prestigious hole. Right you are there, Chet. 132 yards from the pin on today's placement. This is one of the more unique holes here in all of professional golf. Par 3, 17 at TPC Sawgrass. Strategy would tell you that wind is going to be your enemy as well as your friend. Since the wind is, of course, bustling a very high 16 miles an hour, you want to club up on this and make sure that you have enough oomph in your drive to get it onto the green. He's going to go with an 8 iron. Nervous about this. Just missed from Rex Anderson. Difficult putt. And this unfortunately will take him to double bogey. Did that ball just like stop right there? It did, Steve. It did. Just like my dream of drinking mint juleps at the Masters. Steve, pull yourself together. You can drink make juleps at home. We're all disappointed here. Back here at 18, completely unraveling. On the back nine here at the Players' Championship. You hate to see it. Folks, you hate to see your heroes get completely gutted. You hate to see your heroes fail. 
and you hate to see some of the worst golf happen to a great, great player like Rex Anderson. Hey, uh, Chad, I'm getting a uh, getting word that I have a phone call from some guy named Fred Ridley. Fred Ridley. Yeah, it's from like a 706 number. He, Cam, you don't think he's talking about chairman of Augusta National, Fred Ridley? Uh, Steve, maybe you should let the professionals take that call. No, nah, it's okay. I get it. I'll take. I'll take it offline. I'm, I'm gonna step away from the desk here, real quick. Well, while Steve takes that extremely very important phone call, we're gonna get back here to 18. Shot number five for Rex Anderson, double bogey for the day. Oh, my God. Heartbreak and pain. That is the theme, ladies and gentlemen, for today's round of golf. Heartbreak and pain. You can really tell that not having his signature driver really hurt him on the golf course today not playing like himself very much in his own head just not not into it for whatever reason just an absolute destructive display from Rex Anderson quadruple bogey on the final hole here at TPC Sawgrass that'll put him down for minus four for the round. Dark day for Rex Anderson's career. Your winner, Bryson DeChambeau, Billy Horshall, and Cameron Smith round out your top three. That punk Justin Thomas Kevin Keisner, Gary Woodland, Adam Scott, Henrik Stenson, Tony Finau, Tommy Fleetwood, round out your top 10. Folks, we appreciate you sticking with us here for the Players' Championship final round. It did not go the way that we anticipated. And unfortunately for Rex Anderson, he is not going to be a part of this year's Masters Tournament. Sorry, Steve. No mint juleps for you. Oh, no, I'm totally going to the Masters. What? Yeah, that Fred guy, he uh, said that we get to commentate the Masters. And that we uh, get to follow Rex around. I'm, I'm confused. Rex didn't place in the top two, therefore he doesn't qualify for the Masters. Yeah, apparently the uh, chairman's seen our YouTube videos and really likes it, and he's uh, adding Rex to the field, so he'll be in the Masters tournament this year. We're going to the Masters? We're going to the Masters. We're going to the Masters! Let him know that I did it, I ain't never need nobody. Let him know that the money coming never changing nothing. Let him know I ain't worried if they ever saying something. Let him know that I'm coming and you know I'm ready okay, for it. Okay, I'm back again and I'm ready for it. I'm about to blow like any moment. Had to go hit it the level i'm ready now for a new opponent they gonna be comparing me but i can't compete i'm a lone soldier wake up and do what i want they wake up do what they boss told them i can't be living that life nobody giving advice i work too hard to let somebody come take a part of my rights i know i had a dream since 14 been a lot of days